Today, we'll be talking through how you can use Census to connect Single Store to all of your downstream business applications. I'm starting here in the Census dashboard under the Sources tab, where I've already configured a Single Store instance, and we'll talk through how to get that connection set up. To add a new source, simply click the button at the top of the page, search for the source that you're interested in, and you'll have to provide a few authentication credentials to allow Census to connect. I'm also in my single store portal, which will allow me to pull some of those fields. The first of which is the host name, which I can find by going to this connect directly button in my workspace and tabbing over to BI tools, which provides the URL that I will provide to Census as our host. We will keep the port as the default value. And for the database name, I will be using this trades database that has some data that I'm looking to connect into my CRM. We'll also need to provide a user that is authenticated to query the data in your single store instance. If you don't already have an appropriately scoped user, you can head to the SQL editor in the single store portal and run a few simple commands to create a user with an associated password and grant select rights on the associated database that you'll be looking to query. All of which I've already done and connected as the single store instance that I'll be using for my sync processes. Typically what we might do after connecting our data source is modeling some of our data, which you can do in the models tab in the census dashboard. That can be either a raw SQL query or something like connecting a DBT project. But for the purposes of this demonstration, we'll be using the table directly to connect into our CRM. What I would do next is tab over to the syncs page within the census dashboard and opt to create a new sync. In this case, I'll be using the database table directly, although you do have the option to use model data if you are using SQL models or something like DBT. And you can see I've already selected for my single store source that I have connected, the associated schema, and then the company table within that. I am going to be sending this data to a Salesforce instance for our CRM to update some data on our account objects because single store is holding on to information that we're looking to enrich into our CRM for our operations, finance, and sales teams. I'm going to select a behavior for the sync operation, which in this case is mirror. So as data is deleted or updated or added in single store, that will propagate downstream into Salesforce and keep it truly in line with whatever is happening upstream in our single store instance. I'll do some light identity resolution to make sure that records on the Salesforce account are matching properly to records in my single store instance. So I'll be matching on a name value and then additionally, I might want to map some fields over from single store into the account object. So I will have the ability to select any column that's present on the source table or the source model, as well as any field that's present on the Salesforce account object. And in this way, start to enrich data that's previous being, previously been held only in single store and route it directly into my CRM. Once I've done that, I can opt to run a test sync to ensure that data is appropriately writing into the downstream destination, and then create this as a fully packaged sync. I'll have the ability to run this at some cadence or manually. And once that's done, have the ability to monitor anything that might be happening around records being updated correctly or writing to the fields that we would like. 